hello guys here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen today I am going to show you a very unique recipe that is called Malai Bhindi in India Malai means milk cream and Bhindi means lady's finger or okra it's really very easy recipe and very 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 delicious with boiled rice and roti chapati as well so guys let's see the recipe at first we need some Bhindi that means okra now we have to wash them properly and after that we have to dry them a little and after that we have to cut them into pieces so guys they are ready this is the size of the pieces you may keep the size according to your choice there is no problem and here i have taken one big size tomato finely chopped and uh, two big size onions finely chopped it will be about one cup of onion finely chopped and here I have taken about 1 tablespoon full of ginger garlic crush I have crushed them but you may take the paste there is no problem here I have taken half cup of malai malai means milk cream I have taken the cow milk cream but you may take the buffalo milk cream there is no problem but don't take the fresh cream or heavy cream from market and here I have taken about half cup of fresh curd I have beaten a little but if you want to skip the curd you may skip it there is no problem so guys let's go for the main process I am adding some cooking oil into the pan now we have to fry the okras the heat is on medium and now we will fry the veggies until some brown spots on them the veggies should be cooked about 50% while frying and now they are done as you can see some brown spots on them so now I am taking them out into a plate and in the same pan I am going to add some more cooking oil don't add too much oil because we are going to use malai that means milk cream and milk cream will release so much ghee so we don't need to add so much oil after the oil is heated well i have added half teaspoon of cumin seeds two red chilies and a pinch of asafoetida and when everything is fried nicely i am going to add the onions after adding onions we need to fry it until a nice brown color we need to stir it continuously like this and now it's a nice brown color so now i'm adding the crushed ginger garlic after adding ginger garlic we need to stir everything very nicely for about one minute until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone and now it's done now i'm adding the tomatoes here so after adding tomatoes we need to add some salt and spices i'm adding one teaspoon of salt according to taste i'm stirring a little and now I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, some red chilli powder according to taste, one teaspoon of paprika powder for a brighter color and now half teaspoon of garam masala. We have to mix everything very nicely and the heat is on low now. I am not going to add any water now. I am going to cover the pan for about 2 minutes on low heat and after 2 minutes this is the texture of the spices. The tomatoes are nicely soft now as you can see they are being mashed nicely. So now it's time to add the malai and the dahi that means milk cream and the curd. This is the milk cream about half cup and about two third cup of fresh curd. I am going to mix everything nicely again and after that we need to cover the pan on medium heat until the water is dried up nicely and some ghee is released from the malai that means milk cream and after about 6 to 7 minutes this is the texture so much ghee is released from the malai and the water is almost dried up so now we are going to add some water for gravy keep the water quantity according to your wish as thick or as thin you want your gravy to be so now I am going to add water according to my wish my choice and if possible add some hot water but mine is normal because I forgot to heat water previously as usual so I am going to add some more water and now I am going to cover the pan for some time until it starts to boil nicely and now it's boiling nicely as you can see now before adding the veggies I am adding half teaspoon of sugar into the curry this process will make your veggies very stable in size and shapes even after being cooked 100% the veggies will be very stable in size and shapes they won't be melted at all so now I am going to add the veggies into the curry we cooked the veggies 50% while frying and now we need to cook the rest of the 50% so now after mixing nicely I am going to cover the pan for about 5 to 6 minutes on medium heat 
within this time the okras will be cooked very nicely perfectly and after about 5 minutes this is the texture of the curry the gravy consistency is very perfect for me i like this consistency now i am adding half teaspoon of garam masala again it will add a very nice flavor to the curry and at the end of this recipe add some fresh coriander leaves if available but i don't have them so i'm skipping them and after checking the salt now our curry is ready i'm going to check the veggies again if they are cooked fully and they are very nicely cooked and they have hold their shapes perfectly as you can notice and it's because of the sugar now after turning the heat off i'm going to cover the pan for about 10 minutes and after 10 minutes this is the texture of the curry all the ghee is on the outside of the curry and the consistency is thicker than before it's looking so tempting so now let's serve it so guys you have seen that the recipe is very easy and this curry is super delicious with boiled rice and roti and chapati as well so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care